Julie Weisenhorn coming to you from my green room, all my plants and stuff here. I uh, thought that I would start some seeds today and you might be interested to see how I'm going to do it. I am obviously not in the greenhouse at work on campus where we have tons of supplies and lots of different kinds of soil mixes and everything. So I'm going to be kind of doing things what I've got on hand and I think that actually might be helpful for you as well. So what I have is I have a number of containers. These I actually saved from last year. I have washed them well in the soapy hot water and that's really important in case there's any any diseases or or any insect eggs that might be on them from last year. So I've got eight of these. I have a tray to put them in and I, you can see I've also washed it as well so making sure that it's nice and clean and doesn't have any pathogens on it. I have a potting mix and I don't have a seed starting mix on hand. I must have used it all last year. So I'm actually using a cactus blend. And the reason I chose that over just a regular potting soil, is you can see it, it's super light and airy. Look at that, it's nice, drains really well, and that's important for seed starting so that you have good drainage. That's important too as well when it comes to your containers that they have a lot of holes in the bottom so they drain really well. You don't want your seeds sitting in a wet, sloppy mix. You want them to be drained, uh, just keeping that soil mix just moist like a wrung out sponge. That works well. I have two kinds of seeds I'm going to start. One is a pepper seed. This is a heirloom Italian sweet pepper sunset mix. These are long, narrow peppers. They're sweet peppers. And uh, this is a good time uh, based on the back of the seed uh, packet to start them indoors about eight weeks before they'll go outside. So today is March 27th. So we're looking at maybe around Memorial Day, taking them outside, that would be about eight weeks. These will germinate in about 10 to 21 days. So it takes a little while for, seed, for pepper seeds to germinate. The other one I have is kind of my wild card this year, and this is an herbal tea, a zinger hibiscus. I've been enjoying hibiscus uh, tea made from dried hibiscus flowers that I tasted when I was down in Mexico a couple years ago. And so I saw this and I thought I could give this a try and see how this goes. This uh, will germinate in about seven to 10 days and it, like the peppers, you have to start about eight weeks before they go outside. So I am ready with my seeds. I have also created some labels and I'm just using popsicle sticks. One says hibiscus, one says peppers, sunset mix in case I start other peppers in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna wet down this before I water it, uh, before I uh, put it in the containers and just put a little bit of tap water in there, or if you have uh, other kinds of water, well water, whatever you want to use, that's fine. And I'm just going to get it, you can see it's just starting to cling together. And this is a great thing if you have kids in the house, because <laughs> then they get to actually play in the dirt, as I do. It smells really good. It's really, really nice. So I am going to fill my eight containers and just uh, fill them up like that. I'm going to set them into the pan here, or the tray. And then I am going to plant the seeds in there and put it in a warm, sunny spot. So I'm going to come back to you in just a minute after I get this done. Ah, the magic of technology. I have filled my eight containers now. And uh, you can see that they're fairly close to the surface. I'm going to just use a pencil and go along the guidelines of the seed packet. And in the case of the peppers, uh, these should be planted about an inch, a uh, quarter inch deep. So that's not very deep. The hibiscus should be planted at about a half inch deep. So pretty close, both of them. I'm going to make one row peppers and one row hibiscus because I'm just trying to be orderly about this. And you can take a pencil and you could measure and you could mark off a distance or you could estimate it as well. So I'm going to just put a hole in one of these pots like this. And I'm going to do that for, these are for the hibiscus, so about a half inch. Just like that. Like that. And then I am just going to pop one seed in each one. It is tempting sometimes to put more than one seed in a pot. And you can do that, but you have to be ready to transplant them because they will 
take up a lot of water and they'll uh, compete with each other for things. So you can see the seeds of the hibiscus are very big actually as seeds go. They're easy to handle. I'm just going to drop one in each hole. Now the soil is moist so I'm not going to water this yet and then I'm just going to close up the holes by tapping them together. And I will do that the same for the peppers as well. Pepper seeds are, are easy to use and handle as well. They're fairly large. There they are. And remember these are about a quarter inch so I'm going to just do that with my pencil as well and I'm going to drop those in there. The holes. Tap them over there. Close them up. Then be sure that you label because you will not remember what they are more than likely. I have orange labels for my hibiscus. And I have yellow labels for my peppers. Sometimes these trays come with clear plastic lids that you can set over the top as well. And I am going to put this into a sunny spot, sunny window, and hang on and I'll show you right where that is. So here you can see uh, that my seeds are in this really nice sunny window. Uh, it's a south, uh, kind of an easterly facing window, and I've put the plastic lid on top of it here. That will help to hold in moisture, and they're just sitting on these cork trivets right here just to protect my furniture in case I get a little wild with the watering can. So happy seed starting, Minnesota gardeners. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you next time.